Were you surprised at the significance that the Cosby Show ended up having? I mean, the reaction. Yes. To it? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. I was. I was. I was. I was stunned. But Cosby was stunned too. He, you know, he had some failed shows before that one, and suddenly this one just took off with a roar. I mean, that just became like the show, and so, so that way, then that made that reinforce. It was good for me because that reinforced with the writers and with Cosby and the producers and everybody that the team we put together to do this was a good one, and so they didn't question as much my involvement. When when you looked at the the reaction to the show, did you come to any conclusions as to why it was such a, an enormous hit? It had such strong reaction. Well, I think one, I think Bill is a superb comedian on the order of Mark Twain. Um, and also, the issues he dealt with were mostly universal. And he didn't hit them over the head with race. Per se, he was subtle about that, and because it would come up for discussion about whether you should, she's going to apply for a job. His wife to be a lawyer. Can we put in some there some issues about racial discrimination against her? Because when Bill said that's like kind of corny, straight stuff. He said, let's just show that she's really smart, and the white people, white lawyers interviewing her are jerks. I mean, he's very, he's very good at getting through. So that was more effective. She goes for a job and she's clearly smarter than the men interviewing her who are white. And they don't want to hire her. And everybody in the audience say, how could you jerks not? You know, so <laughs> he dealt with the racial issues kind of in that kind of subtle, that other kind of way. And it seemed that this was a revelation not only to whites watching the show, that there could be situations like that, but to some blacks watching. Oh, yeah. A lot of blacks, you know, they started wanting the show to do all things. And I would try to explain that, you know, once you have, have the show structured in a way with a, with a, a, a black uh, doctor as a husband and a, uh, the wife as a lawyer, that you set up a situation which restrains kind of things you can do. But Bill did try to correct it by adopting that cousin who was from the other side of the tracks. But there were, there were, there were just lots of, we try to do shows on drugs and sex. And sometimes it was the networks. I remember one time they did a show where there was a condom and the, the cousin, they was picked up. And in the script, she hands the guy a condom and said, you're not doing anything with me without this. Network people said, you can't put that in our show. <laughs> nope. <laughs> that you cannot changed. show a condom on our show <laughs> in a pa condom package. So there were, there were lots of lots lots of interesting things, and we 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 dealt with with um, with like issues that not just around race, but as attitudes toward people, every every everything, but toward uh, children with disabilities, um, and. It was it was a learning experience. It was a fascinating experience uh, in every way, and it was a collegial experience in every way. So some of those people I work with, that was 1984. Malcolm Jamal Warner called me two weeks ago to ask me something. You, you know what I mean? It was like a really family type of, type of uh, atmosphere on the show. And what do you think the lasting significance of the show is? I don't know the lasting significance. <laughs> Because things change. I mean, I would want to think your, your, your fantasy as well, it changes things all around and things stop moving in a positive way, but that's not the way it, it, it works. So some people, that there's a student in the medical school now who's um, Latino. She came in I, I, to interview me. I, I talked to them just to see how some of them are doing. And she came in and she popped in the chair. She said, I'm so good, glad to talk to you. She said, you know, I decided to be a doctor because I watched the Cosby show and saw that Dr. Huxable was on the show. Thing came out of my I said, you did? She said, yes. 
and it made you feel so good. Right. Absolutely. Okay? You never that it had that effect. That she could become a doctor. She was brown skinned because there was a brown skinned man. And you have to remember back then they were showing black doctors on TV. Amen.